Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you were doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for the Past, Present, Future Project Pan. This project was created by Elizabeth who is at Kooky Pans over on Instagram. There are others that have joined in along the way so I will have them linked down below. And the whole point of this project started last year when we were working on 10 products for the past decade. 10 products for the incoming decade and one product for the present. A lot of us that did this project last year loved it so much that we asked to do it again and Elizabeth said, sure, why not? So here we are again for a second year. I don't have any new empties for today and so far I've only finished four items. Oh, that is not good, you guys. I've only finished four items so far in this project. That's not very good. Um, I should be a lot further along by now. But some of these products are definitely in it for the long haul, and I am using a lot of them every single day, so I'm happy with that. So let me show you my progress with these items so far. Do you guys like my new hair? I kept it blonde-ish. I went with like a fall blonde this time. I don't think my hair has ever been this color, but I kind of like it. What do you think? Is it a little too natural? Do I look too normal? Do you miss the purple? I wasn't sure. So back to this project update. Let's start with the past category. I still have eight products in the past. As always, there are a couple products that didn't get any love this past month. The first one is my Revlon Color Stay. There are so many windows peeking through and I really feel like this is on its last leg, but I didn't use this at all in the past month. I th think, I feel like I've said this before, but I think one good month of everyday use and this will be gone. I've already taken out the stopper. I mean, it's almost there, but I haven't reached for this at all in the past month. I'm working on a little sample of Urban Decay Primer Potion that will not die. And until I finish that, it's basically the only eye base I'm using. Once I finish that Urban Decay Primer Potion, I think I will try to get back to this, but I gotta finish that Urban Decay Primer Potion, you guys. I can't believe it won't die. It was a sample. My Mary Kay eye base got the shaft for the exact same reason. I would like to use this. I'm hoping to get a lot of use out of this this fall, winter. Um, but again, I'm working on the Urban Decay primer and that is all consuming. I don't like to layer too many eye bases on top of each other. On occasion, I will do that. But in general, uh, I like to either use like a skin colored or clear eye base or a colorful eye base and not both at the same time. So that's part of my issue. I feel like when I layer too many eye products on, I can start to look a little bit old. My eyelids look older than they should. If I do like one layer of cream and then like a thin layer of powder on top of it, that's usually the sweet spot for me because other than that, I can actually make my eyelids look a little bit older than I want them to. So that's why I don't double up on cream bases. I have my spray perfume. I did use this once in the past month, but only once. I would love to finish this off. I'm working on a sample or two right now, and then I will get to this, but um, I'm hoping to start putting this in the mix next week, at least once or twice a week to start working on this. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it by the end of the year or not. My Revlon lipstick and sheer rubies, I only used a couple of times, no real progress to speak of. This is now living in my bathroom. I had this in my purse for the longest time and I broke the cap and now I'm a bit afraid to leave it around in my purse. And I'm not applying lip products that regularly since when I go out, I'm wearing a mask anyways. So my best bet for using this up is if I keep it in the bathroom, but I just haven't been focusing on this much at all, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, I want that gone. I want that gone this year really bad. We're going to have to do a big rally for that lipstick in like October, November, and December and get it out of here. Okay, these last four products from the past category I am using pretty much every single day. First of all, I have my Revlon foundation. This is almost gone. I did get enough 
for my face today. I don't use this on its own. I'm currently mixing this with darker foundations to get what feels like a pretty solid color match for me. But um, yeah, like I said, I got some out for today, so it isn't gone yet. I do think it could very well be gone by next month. And as my tan fades, I will need more of this and less of the darker foundation. Right now, I need less of this and more of the darker foundation, if you know what I mean. Still here. My lip balm is doing really well. This is Snow from The Body Shop. This is the lip balm I use every morning after I brush my teeth and every night after I brush my teeth. And it is really getting down there. Not only is the pan expanding a bit, but it is just getting very thin all the way around. I'm very confident that I could finish this by the end of the year. I don't know how many more months it's gonna take me, but I am using this twice a day and I'm making really good progress on it. I also think it's possible my powder from Prescriptives might be gone by next month. This is a fooler. It doesn't seem like much product at all, but it doesn't take a lot. I just use it like forehead, down here, and like my T-zone, but um, it's almost gone. I don't know. I think I could finish it by next month. I finally hit my 50 uses on the Anasui powder, so that's one less powder distracting me from my mission but um yeah hopefully i can finish this by next month that would be awesome i might have a lot of empties by next month if i play my cards right another product that i think will definitely be an empty by next month is my loose mineral powder from salty cosmetics in glamazoid this might be my most exciting empty of the year I mean, finishing a loose powder out of my stash, I think I've had 90 loose powders in my inventory for like four years in a row. So to get down below 90 would be amazing. Now this was a sample product from an Ipsy bag. It's lasted me all year. So, I mean, it's a good size sample, but I don't think this was a full size product, but you're not gonna be able to see it. That little bit of powder down there is all I have left. The way I prefer to use this is to set my eyeshadow primer. It does basically nothing for me as a color cosmetic. So I just dust it over my eyelids after I put a primer down to prepare them for eyeshadow because this doesn't do much else for me. But it's almost gone and I definitely think this too could very well be an empty for next month. Okay, the item for my present category is my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Petal Poison, I am wearing this right now on top of Max Twig. It's actually a really good combination, the two products together. But I'm pretty sure that I only wore it one other time besides now in the past month. This isn't the main lip product that I reach for. I wish it was, but I'm reaching for older products more than this newer one. Um, because that's what I do, because I'm silly. Because I like to use up my old makeup and save my new makeup until it becomes old. I'm weird like that, but I'm not reaching for this. Okay, I have eight products left in the future category as well. Like the past category, there are a couple that I haven't really used much in the past month or this year at all. Like my MAC Lightful C 2-in-1 Radiance Booster Tinted Serum. I don't know if I'm going to get to this this year or not. I would like to. I would like to very much, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Foundations are just taking a lot longer than I always imagined they will. I see other people go through like a full foundation a month. That's not me. One foundation lasts me like eight, nine months. So I really got to start adjusting my expectations because I put way too many foundations and projects this year and I should know better. But I haven't touched this at all this year. I don't know what to say about that. I have no excuse. I didn't really use my Butter Gloss from NYX in Creme Brulee that much this past month. I took this out of my purse as well. I just felt like I had too many lip products in my purse and really I only needed one. And so this is back in my bathroom and I haven't been reaching for this much at all there either. So just, I did use this a lot at the beginning of the year and I used this quite a bit last year. This is now the second year I've been working on this lip product, but we are at a standstill for now. 
The next product has not been used at all in the past year and a half, but it's going to start getting used very, 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 very soon. That is my Josie Moran Highlighting Stick in C95. That's all it says. Yeah. Argon Enlightenment Illuminizing Wand. I've had this in this project for a year and eight months and I haven't used it because I've been working on my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlight in Lunch Money that whole time. I really thought I could finish that much sooner than I did. Still working on it. It is so close to being gone. I could almost cry, but I think I won't be getting to this for like another week. But then this will be the only cream highlight I'm working on and I will measure my starting point and we'll see how much progress I could make on it this year. The lip product that I am still keeping in my purse and applying for the most part is my Bite Beauty Dirty Chai French Press Lip Gloss. I'm getting some really good windows in here. Finally, I think the fill line is down to about here. I did decide to take this out of my purse. Well, I took it out of my purse a couple days ago to film this video, and I didn't get a chance to film this video until now. But in the meantime, I have decided to take a little bit of a break from this lip gloss and put in a lip gloss from another project. I was finding myself getting a little sick of this, even though it's a great color, it's a great formula. I just have been working on this for like a year and eight months, and I needed a little bit of a break. So I have taken this out of my purse for the next month or so, but I will get back to it again soon. I just, I needed a break. So I put in ColourPop's Curvy, which is in my Panners Pan project. So I am using and enjoying that one very much right now. And I'm, I'm glad I made that call. It was hard to say no to this one for a little while, but like I said, it was out here anyways because I needed to film this video and I wasn't getting around to filming it. And I can't go that long without a lip gloss in my purse. I needed something in my purse. I can't have my lips completely unprotected out there. Um, but yeah, I will get back to this soon and hopefully I'll finish it off this year. I mean, I'm working on so many lip glosses and I'm not finishing anything. It would be great to have a lip gloss empty this year, you know? Next is my Butter London Glaze and Eye Gloss in Starlight. I've used this a couple times in the past month, but no real consistent progress. When I do use this, I'm always glad I did. I love this so much. I've talked about this before, but it is completely dried out. And to revive it, I have to add a drop of water and mix it up. And when I do that, it is just as magical as always. Um, but it is hard as a rock. I am 100% sure this will be rolling over into a project for next year. I don't think there's a snowball's chance in hell that I will finish this this year. But like I said, I'm always glad to use this and I always enjoy it and I'm looking forward to continue working on it. Okay, these last three products are in everyday rotation, every day. First of all, I have my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I feel like things are going slow with this, but I am using this every single day. I have not quite hit side pan yet. I'm so close to hitting side pan up there, but hopefully um, I expanded the pan a bit. I don't know. I never know until I'm editing. It is getting harder and harder to pick up product with my brush, and I know that I should probably repress it, but I don't really feel like doing that. I just haven't had much time to do that. But I do think I will need to repress this soon to get the best application because it is getting harder and harder to pick up a nice even application on my brush when I go to use this. And that's not that fun either. This next product I only use as an inner corner highlight for my eyeshadow, but I use it almost every single day. That is ColourPop's Koosh. I love this shadow, I love it so much. I'm wearing it today. Sometimes I apply it in the morning and then when I go to film a video, I almost always reapply it. So sometimes I get two applications in a day. I did reapply it today before filming. I was looking a little bit shiny, so I blotted and applied some setting powder and some blush and I touched up my inner corners and my waterline with some eyeliner and I put on a lip product. And that's typically what I'll do if I'm filming in the evenings 
So sometimes I get two uses on this a day, but in general, I use it once a day. I made the goal last month of getting to the halfway point with this product by the end of the year, and I think I am on track to do that. So that's really exciting. I love this product so much. If there was one Super Shock Shadow that I would repurchase, this would be it for sure. And finally, I have another single eyeshadow in this project, and that is my Milani eyeshadow in Bella Rose. I love, 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 love this single shadow. I've really been enjoying it this year. Not only is it an amazing brow bone highlight, but it makes a really nice face highlight. I'm definitely going to miss this when it's gone. I'm sure I have comparable highlighters or eyeshadows to this somewhere in my stash, but I'm really glad I've been working on this this year. I'm trying to flatten it out more and more. Again, I'm not really sure if I've expanded the pan or not, but I am using this basically every single day and loving it. It doesn't show up that pink on my skin. It just looks kind of like a regular shimmery highlight, but I love this as a brow bone highlight. I use it every single day. I do love a shimmery brow bone highlight. I don't know what to say. I am a product of the 90s and that's how we rolled back then. We didn't do these matte brow bone highlights. We did a shimmery brow bone highlight. And I know a lot of us took it too far, myself included, but you know, I can't quit the shimmery brow bone highlight. It is just the only way to go if you ask me. I don't know how you can get away without doing a shimmery brow bone highlight. There, I said it. All right, that is it for this update. I think I can have three empties by next month. Don't screw it up, Paula. Don't screw this up. I think I could finish my Magic Powder from Prescriptives. I think I could finish my Salty Cosmetics Glamazoid Loose Mineral Eyeshadow. And I think I could finish my Revlon Foundation. We will see. I feel like I've said I can finish this for like four months in a row and it's still here, but it's possible. Anything's possible. All right, you guys, that is it for this update. Thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.